Hi guys, it's Archie Luxury. Archie Luxury on the Archie Luxury channel. Today guys, I want to have a look at some Mercedes Benzes. And uh, I've always been somebody who's loved luxury goods and the three-pointed star. In fact, um, you know me, my Patek Philippe, the Grand Classique from Patek Philippe and my, my beautiful... Um, um, beautiful, beautiful Scalido del Tempo box, and um, I've got my my uh, Submarina and my Daytona. These are essential luxury items, but I always loved motor cars, and uh, Mercedes Benz is a brand I've always, always loved so dearly. In fact, I always keep an eye out for a classic Merc. And it was it was it's ten years ago now that I um, I was taking care of a a two thirty SL. Geez, um, did I get that wrong there? At the time, these were about forty five thousand Aussie dollars, and um, um, now this this car like this would be one hundred and fifty one hundred and fifty all original uh, Australian delivered car. Um, papers, books, books, log books, service receipts. It's um, it doesn't get cleaner. It doesn't get nicer than this. And um, I've I've got to tell you, I um, I've always been a sucker for a vintage Benz. I've always loved Benzes. I mean, it's just a brand that appeals to me so much. As a youngster, I used to watch Sale of the Century with Tony Barber and beautiful Mercedes Benzes. There was mainly W123s. I adored Benzes. And um, I, I, I got to tell you, I, I, I never had the money. I never had the money to buy the Pagoda Mercedes. I, um, I just bought my my Calatrava. That was, that was such a cool watch that I... I I, I really love that white gold classic. It was just gorgeous. And um, I also loved that Mercedes Benz. There's something about the lines. They're from a bygone era. Everything now is CAD. It's all done by computer. It's all hocus pocus magic. It's It really loses that individual charm. Um, when you look at 1960s Mercedes, this 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 was a seriously expensive car. It was the uh, the model that replaced the uh, 300 SL, the Gullwing, and the Roadster 300 SL Roadster. Uh, this car here was always cool and collectible. It was never out of fashion. It was never out of fashion. And I've got to tell you, these W113s are absolute delights absolute delights um they're a little bit slow for modern traffic you know they 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 were a sports car in the 60s but uh modern standards they they um they they're not really a sports car the brakes it's got drums at the back and um disc at the front i mean all round discs would have been so much nicer mercedes which they did do on the the 280 um as the the model progressed there but um um it, it, they were fun they were good times on the on my my uh my channel having this uh mercedes benz mercedes benz and i've i've loved i always loved benzes i don't care the age the value that doesn't really matter I love me Mercedes Benz. I just adore the um, the prestige. I, I recently had a uh, a fan of the channel who let me film his W one two three. He's a little bit shy and he didn't like the video I put up there. So I've I've now taken the sound out and um, it'll you'll just see it coming up. It's a W one two three coupe. Um, absolutely, I, I I I adore this type of car. This is a um, a new timer they call it, new timer classic classic Mercedes Benz. This is a early eighties car, early eighties, and um, you can you can just see it's 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 a it's a lovely 
lovely piece of kit. Um, I, I like, I do like the colour. A lot of these, they they had some uh, very seventies uh, thistle green. Very very much thistle green was a um, a popular colour on this sort of car. Uh, I, I love the lines of the coupe. The coupe just um, pillarless coupe just really looks amazing absolutely and i mean i mean the w123s they are the beirut taxis they're still running around in parts of uh um war-torn countries these these vehicles here were probably what's considered the most reliable car in the world for the fact that they were well designed well engineered um, didn't have too much computers. That's that's the big problem with a lot of modern cars these days is there's so much computer uh, control. Once that the computers fuck up, it's it's it becomes a um, it becomes too costly to to repair, fix, and maintain. And um, that's that's what I love about these W one two threes. The amount of computer control in them is limited. You've got fuel injection on some of them this is this is i believe a fuel injection this is a 280 ce uh but there's there's not computer crazy madness which is is what you get on uh modern well all modern automobiles including mercedes benzes and um it's it, it it's a different era this sort of car is it's it's a it's a completely different Era, different period of, of motoring. Um, the, the, these were serious coin. That this Mercedes Benz in the the eighties, brand new, would have been similar value to to my house. That's how expensive um, this car this car was. They 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 were they were serious coin, and um, they've they you know th this is a this is a rather um, old car now, but have a look inside it's still very ergonomically beautifully done nice wood a little bit of wood class in the interior there um it's 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 really nicely nicely done um later on these got airbags mercedes was one of the uh, first manufacturers to to install airbags they um they had a a certain class to them which which you just don't have in them they've got a riding position i mean the way you sit in this car here it's like no other sort of car it's it's very mercedes-benz unique and uh it's very different to, to to modern cars but um yes this is a uh w123 i wanted to show you this i i did film it before but the guy who owns it's a little bit a little bit funny he's sort of a little bit shy he didn't want to um he didn't think um the video i did before was sort of up to to the standard which he wanted to display his vehicle which <sighs> i think he's being a bit fussy i, I want to share this so please guys can you put some nice comments below please put nice comments tell him um I'm, he's got a collection of Benzes, and I, and I want to see if I can get more footage for the channel. If I can get some more footage, I'd, I'd love to show it. I'd love to show it here and, and let you guys see it. I want, to, I want you guys to see the footage and um, tell, me, tell me what you guys think. We want to, we want to sample these beautiful cars. We want, to, we want to see what they're like and go for drives. That's what I want to do. I'm Archie Luxury, looking at Benzes. Tell me what you guys think of that.